Well, this is gonna be a wrap up video of our final day in Hawaii. I don't remember how much, I don't even know how much I filmed. I don't feel like I filmed very much. No, well, we did go, you filmed a lot in that one store. Mm, so that'll okay. take up a lot. Okay, of so let me tell you what we did. <laughs> so we- yeah. I'll try to avoid the fiascos. Oh no, any fiascos we have to talk about. <laughs> um, we got up this morning, uh, honestly I woke up at 6, but we didn't have any concrete plans, so I laid back down and slept in until 7. This is the latest, today was the latest I slept since we've been here. It's 7 o'clock. And, um, but we got up, and uh, Kevin and I got up, and we got dressed, and we left Ashley here. Ashley let us know that she did not want to go with us. Our intent was to go to the doll plantation. So I don't know. Tell them why, so I don't seem like a jerk. Well, Ashley, she didn't want to do the drive because she gets car sick. And is the biggest reason. Ashley doesn't like pineapple anyway. <laughs> so I mean, if she's you not don't do anything, like fruit, so. then well, but I would have gone. But she I was so, gone. I was so car sick from the days previous. I was the yes, yeah. yeah. So she any the any of the trolleys, the buses. The boat, the boat. Um, anything uh, makes her sick in her stomach. She gets queasy. And so she was done riding these transportation systems and she said, I'm gonna stay in. And uh, she said, I might get in the hot tub, might do this and this and this, whatever, and that's fine. So in order to ride the bus um, before you need, uh, it's 275 a piece. So we had uh, $5.50, we met the bus stop, we paid the $5.50, and... But, but they used to, they, they, this just changed like July 1st. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this now, it's different. It'll be different for but you. But as of, up until July 1st, you could buy one fare and you got one free transfer. So you got a transfer from one bus to the other for free. Well, since the, and so, but I wasn't sure about it because on July 1st, they changed over to this holo card, H-O-L-O, -O, holo, mm -hmm. holo cards. Um, I'm sure it stands for something, Hawaii, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, it's, um, it's a, it's like a, a oyster card in the UK. It's, it's a basically a prepaid card. You pay, you put money on it and you scan it as you go in. But those, um, since they did that, they, they no longer do the free transfer. And he, so we asked do you still get the free transfer? Because we knew we had to go from that one bus to another bus. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, since July 1st, we don't do any more transfers. You have to pay each time. Well, that would have been another 550. And guess what we didn't have? We didn't have another We didn't have change. We didn't have change. Yeah, <laughs> we only really had change. big bills. Had big and they bills. don't give you change on the bus. No. Yeah. So, so if so, you only have three $1 bills instead of 275, guess what? They get to keep the quarter. Yeah. Because you're yeah. not getting changed. I've it. also noticed though, um, the couple times I was paying attention, um, someone only had $2 and he went ahead and let them on because he knew other people had paid over. Yes. So it kind of balances out. It worked out. Um, yeah. So, and it's no big deal. But um, now with this card, you, we, we ended up going to um, an area we knew. The mall. the mall. We went to the mall <laughs> for the Lana third day in a row. Center. But not because we wanted to shop there, because we knew they had an ABC store, and it was a place we were familiar with, so we knew we yes. could go in there and get it and get out. So we ended up buying one of those cards. It was yes. it was five fifty a piece. Yes. Yeah, so it was so 11, we basically wasted so the first five. We wasted five fifty. Spent five fifty a piece. Um, came back out, we figured, I got this Move It app, and it says what buses to get on, how to get there. So we got on, we were ready to go. It said get on bus number 60. We hopped on bus number 60, and it went a completely different way than what the app said. The app yeah. was going one way, and we were going another yeah, way. Yeah, and it wasn't checking off the streets. And it's really good when it works, but it was, wasn't checking off streets. So we were going on the, the, the one going downtown, and um, I get my only thinking is there was another bus 60 that also hit that route that went the other way um, because it did say to wait like 10 minutes for a bus 60. Well, sometimes buses run a little early, so I thought 60 is always going to follow the same path. Why would it change? It clearly changed. So, um, so anyway, what we did was we got off at a bus stop in the middle of downtown and 
We, we just, got an Uber. We just got an Uber from there. We got an Uber. And the Uber we picked, Ashley had told us, uh, she said when she's choosing her Uber driver, she always chooses Uber, uh, Uber X. Uber just because it's, it's so cheap. Because it's cheap. Yeah, it's cheaper. Well, we, ours popped up above Uber, Uber X, and it said Uber, Uber Green. Green. Yeah, it had a little green leaf. Like and the economy, you know. It was like a dollar cheaper, and we're like, okay, well, let's pick this. Yeah, well, it said it would hold up to three people, so we're like, okay. So we chose it, and it ended up being a Tesla. Yeah, a white Tesla. It was a pretty Tesla. Cool. It was so nice. If you yeah, we want to go video, buy one. If you watch the video I filmed in his car, I said, do you mind if I film in your car? And he said, oh, go ahead. He said, I love this car so much. That he loves being uh, doing the Uber driving just so that he can get out and have an excuse to drive his car. Um, well, it's not charge costing you anything except a little bit of get, uh, uh, electricity to yeah, charge every day. The whole t roof of it was open, it's glass. so it we well, yeah, it was glass, so you could see right through it. So it's perfect for tourists. Yeah, you can see out. I told him. I said this is great for us because we can see all the tops of these buildings around us. It was terrific. Yeah, nice car. Um, but Kevin, Kevin loved it so much. That I sell Kevin, them by one. Kevin looked it up. They don't sell them in the state of Kentucky. No, there's some law, some weird having to do with um, uh, dealerships and how cars are sold, how Tesla sells things, to where they just they can't sell them in Kentucky the way because it, it breaks the law of Kentucky, whatever for whatever reason. So, so. we could get one in Ohio. Yeah. However. When you get one in Ohio, you also have to get it serviced in Ohio. Yeah, because there's no service centers in Kentucky because there's no dealerships to deal with. Right, so we won't be getting a Tesla until they come to Kentucky or eh, we move. Maybe. <laughs> because maybe. who's going to want to go get it serviced? Are you going to go get your oil changed no, in there, Cincinnati? There, there, there is no oil. There's no engine. There's no gas burning engine. It has there's no oil? No, it has electric motors. Yeah, but I didn't know there was no oil. No, I don't know no anything oil. about vehicles. Oil All I know is that there's no gasoline. No, there's probably sealed casings in there for the bearings and stuff like that. That's you don't mess with that kind of stuff. The biggest thing you'd have to do is if your batteries, if you needed to switch your batteries out, you'd have to go up there to get battery switched. Yeah, but if it's dead down here, then you power to tow it up there. Yeah, it would be that would be an expense. But I guess if you can afford a Tesla, I know. would rent if I could afford a Tesla. I'm not worried about it. Um, I would probably rent um, a U-Haul with one of those hauling trailers on the back of it, mm -hmm. and just zip that Tesla but how up often there. Does that happen? How often does I know. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to happen. Probably, I'd probably. That's what I I'm wondering. How so long have they been around? It. Yeah. They're very expensive cars. Though. How That's long have they been around to, to see how if stuff's going to go wrong with them? How many years do Tesla batteries last? Ashley's doing the Google She's right on her now. laptop. <laughs> and I quote, the Model Y battery life should be between 10 to 20 years. Yeah, there you 10 go. 10 to 20 or years. Or 300,000 to 500,000 miles, depending on the vehicle there. Well, yeah. let me tell you, I just thought of this too. So, but see, if I buy one of those, literally if I bought one, um, let's see. In 20 years. Eh, I'd almost be dead anyway. Kevin does not say that. <laughs> well, you know what's interesting? I drive it till wheels fall off. To me, now that we're talking about all this, is that Ashley said that a lot of parents at her school drive Teslas. So that means they had to have gone, they didn't get them in Kentucky. Yeah, you can't buy them in Kentucky. Now, they may deliver them They didn't somewhere. get them in Kentucky. Yeah, they may do something. Anyway, you know. It knows. was a nice car. It was a very nice We've car. been in three, we've had three Uber rides this trip. They were all nice, but this was swanky. This, yes, this was the nicest because you, it, yeah. you got The other two in. was just regular, you know, a, a van and a SUV and. Yeah, and yeah. they were nice. They were nice. But this was really nice. Yeah. And, and hopefully you tipped them really well. I'm 25%. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've been giving everybody like 25%. Um, but he was really nice. And um, so we we made it to the Dole plant, uh, plantation. And it was busy. It was a There was a very lot of busy. people. I mean, even there the were gift tour shop. buses. There were tour buses. Yeah, there. there were like four, five, five tour buses. This man passed us. And I told in Kevin. In the store. In the store. And I told Kevin, I said, I recognize him from somewhere. I said he was on one of our tours or something. Yeah, it was, I'm pretty sure it was a luau 
Kevin thinks it was our Luau driver. It, no, no, no. I'm no, sorry. Pearl, Pearl Harbor. Harbor. Pearl yeah. Harbor. I thought it was Luau at first, but it's it was the Pearl Harbor the driver. The Pearl Har Harbor Because I remember he was bald. Yes. Um, so it was neat. So he had it was driving another tour bus, and they were in there. Yeah. So, but it was very, very busy. But but we didn't do the train, and by the way, very long line for the train. Um, very long line. The maze, very long line for. But we had seen YouTube videos. They said it wasn't much. If you're an adult, it's. If you have children it. and you want to do the train, that's great. But for adults, yeah, it really it's really much. not something that adults need to spend money on. Um, Unless you're just really into trains. So, but we. Um, and let me say that the uh, cafeteria where they had the Dole Whips and stuff like that, they were backed up like big time. It was swamps beyond belief. And, and they sell Dole Whip in Waikiki. In we've like had a Dole Whips places. twice, and we've had the same thing that they yeah, sell. Yeah, they're, they're both. They were both excellent. Yeah, so. they were absolutely wonderful. So, do you think, as far as us go, and you can be honest, um, for them, just to be honest, do you think it was worth going there for the gift shop alone? I think if you have already rented a car and you have a way of transportation, a, yeah, and you have a way of get. If I think if you've already rented a car and you have a day that you want to waste that you don't have anything, or even planned, half a day, or half a day that you don't have anything planned, then go. I would go ahead and go. However. If you, if your schedule, if you already have, you're only here for a certain amount of time and you have certain things you want to do, and do I think you're going to miss it out on anything by not going to that? Not at all. No, because most of the food they had was you stuff could you could buy anywhere. The stuff that says doll in the packages, the candy and stuff, they sell that at the ABC stores. Yeah. They so sell they did have some it. stuffed animals, some t-shirts and and stuff like that that you couldn't get in each store. Yes. Beyond that, and half of that honestly didn't say doll. The t-shirts um, did, but the like the stuffed animals and the um, the little squishies and the ornaments and all that, none of that stuff said doll. It was all Hawaii or Aloha. Yes, they only say Hawaii on them. I was very disappointed because as a person who collects ornaments, I like to collect ornaments with the name on it. So I wanted something that said Dole Plantation. All they had to do was have one big pineapple ornament with uh, with a little uh, swag line at the bottom. It said Dole Plantation. They didn't have one Nothing. Christmas ornament in that entire store. And I even they asked had, the woman when we got to the front. They had Santa Claus on a surfboard. Which we've seen other the places. typical Hawaii kind of ornaments. We, that we've seen literally in other places yeah. around here. Yeah, that was disappointing. It I'm wasn't good. anything special to yeah. Dole. Yeah. Um, so so, so it, it's worth it if you got the time. I don't know if it's worth a fifty dollar Uber ride though. No, we we literally paid fifty dollars for an Uber ride it's to get a there. Hour long trip basically. Yes, and yeah. then I told Kevin I said we're not in any hurry to get back. Yeah, we took the bus back. Yeah, so we took the bus. We yeah. had already paid for that. Uh, we told you we stopped and got a bus pass for the day. So we had already paid for that, so we took the bus back. Yeah, and it wasn't bad, but you it takes a long time because you're making 60 stops yes. uh, between here and there. So <laughs> if you're not a patient person or if you have children with you, yeah. you don't want to do that. No. No. Uh, with us being the way we are, we just, we were yeah, fine. we just, just looked around there. and yeah. looked at what we were going through. Saw some and like, for example, we didn't, neighborhoods. we didn't visit Chinatown during our visit. We drove right through Chinatown that, on the bus. They had a bunch of big open markets there. So, yeah, it was cool to get to look out the window and see it because yeah. we hadn't seen it yet. Um, but so, so, anyway, once we got back to the room. Once we got back to the room, <laughs> I had texted Ashley and I said, do you want to have lunch somewhere? And she said, sure. So, I was literally about to order a Papa John's pizza and have it delivered. I'm so fine. glad I texted you then. So we, um, I had seen a place, uh, we had passed it several times on our, uh, the trolley or the bus or line. whatever. And it was called Yard House. And so we went to, I think it's a chain restaurant, but we don't have any in our area of Kentucky. No, so they have a lot of different food. If you have people in your group that want uh, pasta, pizza, seafood. They have a lot of pasta. They didn't have a lot of pasta. They didn't have seafood, they steak, They had seafood, steak, pizza. they had pizza, they had burgers. Salads. Uh, salads. If you have somebody in your group that's wanting something different, everything, everybody's wanting something different, this is a good place to yeah. go. Um, so, um, it, uh, it, it was, was good. Yeah. It was good. It wasn't that I had a burger, I had a pizza. Um, and the pizza was good. It was a really good pizza. I liked the flavor of it. The burger, though, me and Tammy switched like halfway through. 
Um, the burger was good, but I like the cheeseburger in paradise in the other place. Um, I like the cheeseburger in paradise better um, too. What's that one called? Teddy's Bigger Burger. Teddy's, Teddy's Bigger Burger. I like oh. those two burger places better. So if you want a burger, don't go, don't travel down all the way down there to get one. No. Just get one here. If you're on this end, get it here. But the pizza was was The pizza was, was really good. good. And there's not a lot of pizza places around here. So then we, no, there's not. Um, they, there's not a lot of Italian places because I don't want pasta. Yeah, it actually has no been pasta. living for pasta and really hasn't been a pasta They could place. definitely have more Italian places, Perry. <laughs> well, they have Italian places, but it's like fancy it's, Italian. Yeah, it's, it's, it's authentic Italian. I like Italian. to hear the word chicken parmesan. Yeah, and a lot of these places don't, Do have, have, don't have chicken parmesan. So She was looking um, for an American Italian. Yeah. <laughs> we stopped at a couple gift shops that we hadn't been in yet. Mm -hmm. And then we decided since it's our, it was our last day, our last opportunity to uh, go to the, the beach, uh, we wanted to go to the beach. So we came back to the room and we got changed. And we went down to the beach and we all three got in the water. I think today was the most pleasant time we've had in the beach. I, so. I do too because we all three got in the water together. Because last time I was in the Because. Usually we take a bunch of stuff down there and you have to watch it. And somebody, somebody has to, has to sit it. with it on the beach because it, your stuff will get stolen, period. I mean, it's. If, you, if it looks valuable. If it looks, yeah, if you have a bag, you can't leave it alone. Um, so we, we were on the beach for a long time and then we came back to the room and we spent a long time. Um, redistributing stuff in the luggage. Yeah, yeah, we sorted out everything. Um, yeah, you filmed all the souvenirs. The souvenirs. Um, um we um, split up stuff between ours and Ashley's bag. Yes. Debated we, upon buying another bag, but we decided not to. Because we will, we are going to have to pay a fee. Yeah, these are over fifty pounds. If and you, my stupid scale. Always check your battery before you leave. My scale, the battery, we hadn't used it for two years. The battery was dead. The battery, yeah, we hadn't <laughs> traveled to London since and I, 2019. Yeah, I didn't even the, think the, about the, it. The, the scale that we used to weigh to see how much the luggage weighs, and it's one of those flat batteries. Yeah, full so flat battery. we went down to the ABC store. They don't sell any of those flat yeah. batteries. And if it was early in the day, we could have went down to the Long CVS. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we probably could have got one there or, or somewhere else, but it wasn't. It's but just it's not too worth late, that. and it's a long way off. Yeah. To to and, and worst case scenario what would we have done if one was a few pounds over or something like that we're just gonna pay the fee for it yeah we'll more. just have to pay a fee so in if we were in the UK they would tell they're you they're more picky they're very picky so you have to take if you if you go over 50 pounds then you have to take it out and redistribute it all until it doesn't weigh more than 50 pounds. yeah that's what they told us at least here Kevin looked it up and they said that we we'll just have to pay a fee Extra so fees. so if it weighs 60 pounds then we'll just have to pay whatever fee fee it is and we'll have to let you know that uh, I guess in tomorrow's video once yeah because we we're gonna out. do kind of a um... We'll for, do a vlog for tomorrow. I'll film us going to the airport. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And you'll find yeah. out how much it costs. So I'm, I'm just thinking you know. the total cost of everything. We're going to do a separate video. It yeah. may not be like right away, um, but it'll be right towards the end of all. Of, once we get all these videos made and, and up, we'll, yeah. we'll do a totals video. Because yeah. we haven't told everything up. Oh, no. We'll let you know. I'm sure it's going to be a, a lot uh, that we have spent. Although I told you the other day how much we'd spent. And, it, and you hadn't. It wasn't as bad as I thought. You said it wasn't as bad as I thought. No, it wasn't as bad as I thought. So, but I don't think everything's been processed either. Right. We'll see. So, um, so that's that's the end of today. Um, Tomorrow's mostly a travel day, really. Yeah. So tomorrow's video will probably be short, uh, but I'll just film whatever I can, and and we'll we'll, we'll see show you around goes. the airport a little bit if we can, if we got time, and we're not pressed for time like we have been coming over here. Yes. We I didn't get to walk around. Um, well, when we came into Hawaii, you're just wanting to get to your your hotel. Well, they anyway. pitch, they they make you like go a certain yeah. way, and we didn't. We there was no opportunity to look around there. So we didn't look around any gift yeah. shops in Hawaii. But we'll be there for all. like two hours tomorrow. So so we'll get a chance to look around. <laughs> so maybe I'll be able to film a little bit for yeah. you. We'll yeah. see. And if we get some time in LAX, we can show you around a little yeah. bit if we, if we can. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.